Late last year, we broke the news that several people had been arrested for attempting to bring illegal substances into Santa Maria's Northern Branch Jail. Despite measures taken by the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office to prevent overdose incidents from happening at the facility, illegal substances have repeatedly found their way in. KSBY News reporter Jacob Dizon spoke in depth with Santa Barbara County Sheriff Bill Brown and has more. Roughly half a year following the opening of the Northern Branch Jail in Santa Maria, the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's Office reported its first incident of an inmate overdosing from opioids and in the months since, six more have taken place. Of those inmate overdoses, three of them died with the most recent suspected fentanyl cause fatality happening in late May. It just goes to show you how insidious it really is that here in the most secure facility of the county, we still have a problem with fentanyl. Friday afternoon, I met personally with Sheriff Bill Brown, where he explained that despite the jail's use of a contraband detecting body scanner and a drug sniffing Labrador, somehow illegal substances continue finding their way inside the jail. Could be something that has been swallowed and is internal in them, like a balloon or a condom that's filled with with uh, some kind of drugs. He tells me their body scanner allows the county's jail deputies to detect obvious signs of contraband being smuggled into the jail, but he admits that fentanyl in particular presents additional challenges. It's so powerful and such a small dose of it can be lethal. And so it's very difficult to find that dose sometimes. Understanding that not every substance will be found through their inmate screenings, Sheriff Brown says education and training is their most valuable preventative measure. There are some new and emerging technologies that we are looking at, but uh, as I said, the, what it really boils down to, the, the most effective means to combat this is through the vigilance and the training of our custody staff to suspect maybe that something is up and somebody's either bringing something in or something has uh, been brought in and secreted in the, in the jail. Meanwhile, just weeks ago, two Santa Barbara County men were federally indicted for bringing in and distributing fentanyl when they were booked into the Northern Branch Jail, resulting in multiple overdoses and one death. Sheriff Brown adding that if the men are found guilty, they could face a minimum of 20 years in prison. If you're gonna uh, sell fentanyl on the street, if you're going to uh, bring it into the jail, if what you're doing causes uh, the great bodily injury or, uh, or the death of another person, we will, we will prosecute you to the fullest extent of the law. And we want that message to go far and wide in the community that this will not be tolerated. In Santa Maria, Jacob Dizon, KSBY News. Sheriff Brown says there is no indication that the illegal substances have been brought in by the department's jail staff. He says the investigation surrounding the facility's contracted commissary workers who were banned last winter is still ongoing.